everybody! Welcome back! Get the mouse pointer off the screen, for God's sake! Okay. 11 wins in a row, and you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. I know you're gonna do it. I knew you were gonna do it! Give me a keeper run. See if I give two shits. L4, JT, NBMQ. I was gearing up for a nice, relaxing... Uh, if there's enemies, we will want to have used the coin, but... Whatever, it's a small price to pay. These guys are easy. Um, I was gearing up for a relaxing keeper run, you know, for a relaxing time, make it Suntory times. Uh, and I decided, let's just have, I've got a little time before the NLSS today. Let's do, random sh surely will not be rude to me today. Oh, heavens, I hope that, ra I don't know why I've become like a Victorian era spoiled child in my diction. But anyway. Be careful and then pivot. Um, if you want to get fucking nuts, let's get fucking nuts. I'm not going to suggest the the random number generator is not working. I will say three keeper runs out of twelve runs is a lot. There's like twelve characters in the game. It doesn't necessarily mean you can expect to get one each. Something for like a. I guess maybe I wasn't hoping for a black market, in all honesty, but... Um, I'm just a little surprised is all. Not mad. Just disappointed. But you know what? I shouldn't be disappointed. Because this gives us an even greater chance. Remember, bombs are not that useful to us. Uh, because all we get out of them are flies when we, when we use them on Tinted Rocks. So I don't mind doing this, but... Um, it gives us another chance to show that we're the best goddamn keeper player on the planet. Now, I don't actually believe that, but I do believe that if we can get three keeper wins in a row, and if God willing, this one made it to Mega Satan like the last two, that would just be hilarious. You know, we, we are beholden to the items that we get, so we really have to kick the shit out of the game. Oh my God, it gives me a trinket, please. It's not the trinket I'm looking for, but it is pretty good. So here's what I'm thinking. We got 17 cents. Let's bank on offense. So I'm going to go to the shop by not spending a key. Swallowed Penny, it, it just can't work. I'm going to go Black Candle. Just be smart. Look, my brain was swimming with possible options there. Okay, this gave us a coin, so here's what I'm going to do. Walk in. Sadly, of course, we cannot take that. What we're going to do is use the stars card to get in here. I had to see what was in the deal with the devil just to know, I felt. And, well, sorry, I had to see what was in the curse room just to know, I felt. And I, I stand by this. I think this was a totally fine decision. But then we're going to get rid of the shop key. And we're going to take Locust of Pestilence with us. It'll cost us many keys, but giving us flies on every single room is very valuable as well. Uh, and then we have this pill. And what does this pill do? I have no idea, but... I'm, I'm relatively happy with it right now. And I think, honestly, we can consider that that um, trinket... Or, sorry, the, the item we got from the boss was pretty good. Sure, it wasn't a, a critical path stat. It wasn't speed. It wasn't damage or tears or any other weird form of DPS. Um, but it was still useful in giving us a good trinket. And I, I'm happy with it. So my little unicorn is pretty not good. What is wrong with me? I just walked right into it. Uh, my little unicorn is pretty not good for us here. We have compromised our deal with the devil chance, although it's still 51%. I actually don't understand that, um, but I'm okay with it. Because that's better for us. Get another bomb. Um, luckily, we recovered from that earlier mistake there. Five cents. I mean, there's nothing we, we really want to do here. Instead... Just come in here. Thankfully, we got a lot of flies, so that's dope. And we'll use these flies to hopefully make it so we don't even really have to fight Larry Jr. He just dies, more or less. We get shot speed, which is okay. And then a tarot card, which is hanged man, which is also okay. I think we just go. So we're now kind of on the danger spot, I'd say. Because we haven't improved our DPS at all. 
and things can go really bad really fast now. Um, we're pretty lucky that we got that payout early. I'm not worried so much about a deal with the devil, because honestly, a deal with the devil you can't really take anyway in this situation, if we're being honest, so. We've heard him at least a little bit. He should be done soon. Um, on a keeper run, you can't normally take a deal with the devil at the best of, at the best of times. <laughs> just stay back. You got the range and shot speed necessary to take these guys out, so just do that. I know this run, it, it feels like it's got a fateful portent on it already. Um, dare we? Okay. Well, we, we I mean, we got to fight, so... It's a tricky room. But it doesn't have to be that bad. Especially with an item room coming close by. Basically, it's just all about getting this coin back before we die. Fuck. Uh, hourglass is just not good, dude. Are you a wizard? Dude, straight up. How's it going, everybody? Because I'm not walking into a room with zero HP with are you a wizard active, so... We're, what we will do is, um, well, I was going to say look for a secret room, but it, it can't possibly be there. We can go back to our item room quickly. Oh, okay, there was like, there's TNT. I thought maybe there was a door we could open up or something like that, but no such luck. Okay, we're still firing off to the side. What do you like here? I'm, uh, I'm left-handed. I think we go to the left, get, get deeper into the belly of the beast here. Easy room. And we got a coin, so just save that for now. Now, it may seem like I'm playing very badly, and I may be playing very badly. Like, if you feel that way, there's not much really I can offer in my own defense. Except to say that um, we haven't improved our DPS at all on this run. Oh, you know what? It's Black Candle that's giving us the better deal with the Devil Chance. Um... Yeah, we haven't improved our DPS at all on this run. So I sort of feel like I'm doing what I can given the circumstances that are available to me in the present moment. We got little Steven and we've got the Locust of Pestilence. So rest assured... Yeah, that basically scared the shit out of me. Um, rest assured, I'm, I'm trying my damnedest here. But it's it's not an easy run. At least not right now. So save the penny on the ground, because we can use that. Um, I do want the... Well, the lucky penny is important. But I do want the blue map. Save us some bombs. Two of spades has value associated with it as well. I think because we got a lot of bombs, we'll do something like this. And we'll do something like this. I mean, I'll just tell you straight up, if we win this run, this is the hardest of all the Keeper runs we've won, uh, recently at least. So we got a long way to go before that seems likely, but maybe we'll manage to swing it here. Okay, so first thing handled. Joker card. Very potentially useful. Although I almost want to, like, earn a deal with the Devil and then give myself the angel chance, nah. Maybe we do want to not get uh, active items anymore, but uh, I almost want to rebuke a deal with the devil. And you might think that we've done that already, but it doesn't count on the first floor for whatever reason, you know, it's a, spe it's a special case. Um, I think I will use two of spades then and open that. Every potential chest is, like, extremely precious to us right now. We really need something fast. I'm not worried about our long-term key economy. I'm worried about, you know, right now. Okay. Well. Let's see what we can get. We got a very, very good chance. Well, we've got a modest chance of getting a deal with the devil. Thank God for the coin. That's all I'll say about that. Um, big horn fight tends to be pretty annoying in my experience. For me personally, at least. I would expect to... Uh, possibly have a chance to take damage here, so... Just play it slow. We're almost halfway through already. 
Stay away from that coin, please. You're annoying me. You're a uh, coining me. Madness imprisoning me. All that I see, absolute failure. It's a really fun boss fight when you have no damage, by the way. It's probably one of the most fun fucking shitty goddamn stupid idiot things I've ever done in my entire freaking stupid damn life. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No damage. Deal with the devil. We can take a one heart deal. We can take, but do you want to? I actually think no, because those deals suck. So this is empowering. At least it's meant to be. What we do now is we go down to the next floor. And, I mean, I kind of want to do it from that room, if I'm being honest. But let's start small here. So what I'm thinking is, we do have a chance to get a deal with the angel or devil here. I really want a deal with the angel. So my, my thinking right now is like... If I get hurt, then we're gonna just walk into that mob trap room, boss trap room, and hope there's items in there. Ah, it's kind of a risky play. But is it riskier to do it or to forego doing it when it could actually provide us with a lot of value? I think it's riskier to bypass it when you never know. Like, even a single guppy item in there could mean the world to us. This is definitely the kind of... Uh, this is a scary room, by the way, but it's the kind of keeper run they warn you about on the subreddit. They say, stay away from that style of keeper run. You don't want any part of this. And you know what? They were right, dude. They were freaking right. But we're doing our darndest here. Keep in mind, if you teleport... Well, not if you teleport, but if you... Um, if you joker out of the cursed room... You are redeposited into said curse room, which means we can't guarantee that we would live if we would do that. So we've made it far enough on this floor that it kind of seems like, well, thank you for that. It kind of seems like the uh, the right course of action is to see if we just get a deal. It accomplishes kind of a double benefit for us. First off, we're not wasting our card if we're going to get a deal either way. Secondly, we're not wasting our card if we're destined to get a deal with the devil instead of a deal with the angel. Although a deal with the devil could still be good. Yeah, we kind of have to. Uh, I mean, our speed is still bad, for example. So even if we get mini mush, I'm not that sore about it. But... Yeah, I was thinking about Liberty Cap, but I'm not sure if we can if we can make it work. I do feel like we sort of settled into this run a little bit. Like, I feel like I'm I'm better off now than I was recently. We have to be very cautious about the idea of using a Joker card as a get out of jail free because it could pretty easily give us, at this point, Krampus. And uh, a Krampus fight, it's not really what we're looking for in our lives right now because it would kill us. So we are going to go look for what I hope is an item room. I mean, a bomb for a, uh, a tarot card sometimes can be very, very good. Not sure if it's the right call for us right now, though. I'm very happy with the Locust of Pestilence, though. So this has the potential to be pretty useful. I guess my ideal outcome is, is obvious. You know, if we can just get Mom's Knife or something, then that's pretty solid. But um, more realistically, Nun's Habit from the shop and then any kind of DPS from our item room. Or nuns have it from our item room and a DPS item from the shop, but that's slightly less likely. Fuck. Why? That's just cruel. Um, yeah, so that's that's shitty. Every item room has had an active item in it, I think. So the stopwatch is quite okay. You know, we get hit once, it'll slow every enemy down. Normally on a on a non-greed run, you just go, ah, you know, it's pretty good. Um, we'll use this to, you know, beat Hush. That's not on our mind right now. What is on our mind is, uh, I think we just buy a key. Maybe the bomb as well. 
Um, what is on our mind right now is that we're less likely to get hit twice as a result of this. I still have to point out that, like, I don't, I don't want to get, like, a victim complex going here. But good God, it's our fourth item room. Have all of our item rooms had uh, active items in them so far? I think they have. So I was just going to say, as long as it's... That was horrible. But as long as it's not uh, the Fallen, we're probably safe. And I, I still sort of stand by that, but... Um, mostly because we got the coin. If we had not gotten the coin, this would be a little touchy. Plus, the stopwatch is quite useful here. Um, by the way, most annoying invincibility on a on a boss in this entire game, as far as I'm concerned. He's pretty not tanky. He's also extremely very annoying. It's going fine, though. Almost dodged right into that shot. Okay, we've done it. No deal, probably. No deal, pacifier. You gotta use the Joker card here. It's the only sensible thing. And it's the Void. Which you can't keep. You wouldn't. <laughs> Those shots are going pretty fast, man. Um... Yeah, we, we, we just can't keep the void. I mean, we picked it up and put it back down. I, it doesn't really affect our angel chance in the future. We'll head down to the next floor. We did improve our DPS. If I may stop feeling sorry for myself, we did improve our DPS. How so? Well, I mean, quite literally, really, the pacifier um, gave us a modest tier delay decrease. So you go peep this room. Strength is so useful if we find a genuine deal with the devil. Lots of coins. This is basically what we want here. We are still, like, looking down the barrel of a gun right here. Like, how are we supposed to win this run? Surviving floor to floor has worked thus far. But, you know, things can change pretty quickly. 4.20 damage doesn't look that impressive this late in the game. So we're just gonna go ahead and state the obvious that boss rush is not uh, too fucking likely. It's also not that useful to me right now. Just leave one coin back there. Um, this has ended so many keeper runs over its lifespan. This specific room guess those masks uh, are relatively unaffected by the stopwatch, so that's pretty dope. Uh, but we made it through. We made it through. That's fine. That's fine, dude. Gray skies are gonna clear up. That was supposed to be like, let's all go for a walk outside now. Developers cursing my name. I hear you now. I just can't win a keeper run if you give me exclusively active items. Cut me some friggin' slack, mm, Tyrone Rodriguez. Give me a little help here, Edmund McMillan. Mm, didn't forget about you guys, the rest of the team. I, I don't know if I have the mental fortitude to handle a keeper train wreck. Like, it's just... I don't know who amongst us has that power built into their DNA, you know, to just say, yeah, please, sir, can I have another? The deeper you go into a run, by the way, the less you're able to settle. So, you know, two floors ago, if we got, like, Champion Bell, I mean, I'd still not kick it out of bed for eating crackers here, but if we got Champion Bell two floors ago, we'd be like, dope, we, we got to start. Now, we're like, we need... Death's Touch. We don't actually need it, but like we we need to move. Don't, I was gonna say, don't even get me fucking started on these enemies, dude. Is it my own fault? Yeah, highly, 
highly my own fault for taking damage there, but still. First off, thank God for the stopwatch. Didn't even realize until now the caliber of this item as, as a potential keeper enabler. Thank you for that. Does Lucky Penny, which is actually Wooden Nickel, not scale with your luck? Is it always 50%? That actually makes sense, but I'm mad about it anyway. Please be smaller, rock. The flies are not useless, and I think I've done a pretty bad job. I shouldn't have used that. I've done a pretty bad job of articulating that, if I'm being honest. Like, it's not a horrible outcome to get the flies. It's not what we want, but it's not a horrible outcome. This is actually basically what we were looking for, is more money. I guess if we can get lucky pennies, that's something. Um, I, I mean, bombs, if possible? Like, I know I've used some, but if you could give me some bombs. Give me some bombs, give me some bombs, give me some bombs. We could get over there and there's like stone chests, golden chests. Maybe. You know, damage multipliers are pretty much our way out right now. You know what? No, we're not doing that room. Thank you for blowing it up. Yeah, there's a chest back there. Who cares? Um, we need like a Capricorn, Magic Mush, Cricket's Head, something like that. Our rate of fire is fine if our damage gets better. Our damage is not fine if our rate of fire gets better. That... Like, is, it has to come up. We're, we got a bad batting average for Lucky Penny, which is actually a uh, wooden nickel on this floor. Not that I expect that to continue indefinitely. That's anti-math, but... Well, at least these enemies are predictable. They jump, but they don't teleport, so... Should really treat that as a positive. And by treat it as a positive, I mean, holy fuck, dude. Kill these enemies! Halfway through. Beautiful. At least we got some sustained damage done there. Please. One is dead. Okay. Two bombs allows us to get into our secret room, then the curse room. There's something to that, man. We can make that work. We've done it, that's right. No bombs, of course. A penny? To what do I owe the pleasure? Now that was dicey. As was that, we, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I would have loved to have not taken the penny and not gotten hit, but if we're gonna get hit, at least we got the penny out of it. We can't kill enemies anymore. Like, sure, it's Necropolis. That's tough, dude. But I, it, it takes me too long to kill enemies to have any reasonable chance of victory here. We're gonna, it's taking us 15 minutes per floor. Eventually, you know, something's gonna happen. Um, is it bad that I got the Vorf pill and was like, finally, an explosion? So what's the game plan here? Well, like, to get a deal with the devil by any means possible starts to starts to be worth a lot. Deal with the angel, also fine. Possibly substantially better, actually, but... I can't believe we gotta go through that L-shaped room down there. This run, like, would have been pretty bad as basically any character. We are sort of approaching a level that is, like, it's destined to fail. But I don't want to fall into that thought pattern because it just makes it, like, it's, it's too self-defeating, right? There's no reason to think that this is a run that can't possibly win. So if we think that, you know, that, it doesn't do us any good. I do see Skinny Odd Mushroom over there, by the way. I would like it. I would like to take Skinny Odd Mushroom. Golden Teleporter, of all fucking things. 
It's another active item. Just thought I'd throw that out there. It's just a nice little bone mo. Okay, so we took that. It's bad for our damage. Our rate of fire is awesome now, though. And why did we do that? Like, because you push a man this far, something's gotta give, okay? We need the speed as well. It had to be done. And then there's a coin back here. So many, maybe many coins. Now there's one coin. Thank you for saving that. Uh, by the way, thanks for the bombs. Really, it's really nice to know the game appreciates you. It's given me so many bombs that just want to thank the game for giving me all these bombs. All them bombs. Here we go. Brownie is a shitty boss fight. Ha ha ha. But like, really, this is a boss fight that sucks. Um, but I gotta admit, the the skinny odd mushroom pickup was actually like. 20 times better than I expected it to be. It's really just improved our run drastically. So what are we doing right now? Well, like trying to inception this guy to stay as far on the other side of the map as is possible. The strength card lets us take a deal with the devil and live. So, well, and get our HP back, but we didn't get a deal with the devil, so. Okay, we get a speed plus range upgrade and it's down to the next floor. Probably the only keeper run that I've ever had that's lived this long, despite actually having less damage than it started with. So we're on the depths too. We rushed pretty hard, and as a result, we uh, only missed boss rush by probably about eight or nine minutes. So that's pretty swell. What do you do here? This is an obvious game plan if there's a blood bank. Now we can't do that. Um, yes, we can. Once. We want to wait for... I mean, it's still not bad, by the way. We could just do that and, and stack up lucky pennies, but we don't actually need a speed upgrade from the blood bag. And we might gain a little bit of money, but it doesn't really matter. We have enough to buy two things from the shop anyway, so... Um, what I'm getting at is that library is actually... I said it was a no-brainer. Because you have to have no brain to think that it's going to save this run. That's not really what I meant. I, I meant we should play it, but... I think that that actually is nonsensical. I will say, because of the ridiculous improvement in Rate of Fire, this run actually looks a lot better on this floor than it did a floor ago. By the way, thanks for all the big rooms. I really appreciate it. So, what is compulsory for this run to work? Dude, we need this to not be greed. I don't give a shit if it's Steam Sale. We need it to not be greed. So what do we do to get that to happen? Well, we have no control over it. We just go to the shop and hope for the best. Okay, sick. Bogo bombs, at least they're giving me something, right? Like, it's not good, but... Then, I, I recognize that we have this strength card, which is all valuable. However, what I'm gonna do... We come in here, we're safe for now. Yeah, it's dope. Heal up. Guppy's head. It's a guppy item. It's, it's a start. You know, I'm beginning to believe. Put a bomb down. Get this too. Was not worth it. Moon card out. This is what I was worried about, and that's why I wanted to use the coin in there. Just in case we came up here and we had to fight greed. I guess now, like, sure, money. Why not? Who cares? And now we're kind of trapped away from our strength card. With teleporting enemies and enemies who rush us down. Because I'm the number one menace for miles around. Bogo bombs, though? Hopefully it's this way? Okay, it's not that way. <sighs> da, 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 da. Okay, we took we, we compromised our deal with the devil chance by going into the cursed room. But at this point, again, we, we can't guarantee that the deals with the devil will actually do anything for us anyway. So, th this is the sort of run where, maybe I'm mistaken, but I feel like the deal with the devil chance is a red herring. Like, it's not something that we need in order to make this happen. We could skip this room. I don't think we need to. We have like straight up Contra spread gun shit going on right now. Could you just give me a good item? I've been working towards this for so long. 
I can't believe the situation we find ourselves in here. Strength. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna donate as much money as we can. You know why? Because we might as well pay it forward regardless of how things look right now. I would like to buy both keys and we'll still have the money necessary to do so. Um, let's work with it, dude. This is a keeper run that has given us almost no tools. So to still being uh, to still being to still be alive right now is amazing. I'm I'm thrilled. I really think we've played pretty well. Sure, there's been some dubious dodges. Maybe we shouldn't have taken the Locust Trinket, and instead we should have gone for Stop Giving Me Active Items. Surely that would have saved us... I mean, by the time we picked it up, it would have saved us like three item rooms, but every item room in the whole fucking game has been active items so far, so... I mean, you can't expect that to happen. If you structure your whole run like that, or if you structure your, your Isaac decision-making process like that, you're gonna make so many mistakes on runs that are not in that, like, one percentile of go fuck yourself, so... This one really comes down to us persevering as long as is necessary um, in situations where the game doesn't want us to win. Or if it wants us to win, it's got a freaking funny way of showing it. So, what do you do? I mean, you go to the second secret room? I, that, sure, yeah, we tried. And we don't care about that money. We did get a payout, so that's, this is one of the, like, extremely critical points on which to get a payout. For now, don't get, just about to say, don't get too attached to it, but we did have a 51% chance of getting a deal with the devil, or angel. Which actually means, um, even still, we've got a 16% chance. What, what we want now is a one heart, amazing deal with the devil. What could it even be? Nine lives, I guess. Nine lives and then another guppy item in there. We become guppy, we win. Dude, I don't, fudge. Don't do it, don't do it. Stay cool. It's the wrong time to pop strength. Unless we die. We lived, didn't get our coin back yet. Take this, get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Just nothing doing, dude. Now we, we will pop strength on a room that seems like it'll kill us. Until we get a coin. Dope. Uh, keep working your way downtown, walking fast. Stations pass and I'm homebound. Secret rooms. Important, of course. The one-up could be very essential to our chances here. Boss fights are gonna get harder, though. Some of them, at least. At this point, like, I'm straight up, like, just give me a flippin' Emperor card. I have no patience for dead ends, which is a bad, uh, I see a Tinted Rock in there, by the way, but it's a bad place to be. Because you're, you're gonna encounter dead ends, you know? You gotta, you gotta roll with the punches. You gotta roam if you want to. You gotta roam around the world. It's the B-52 set, and I firmly believe that. I don't really know what it means. Probably something to do with drugs. Okay, sweet. Go to the right. The second secret room is to the right. When in doubt, there's always money in the banana stand, aka the second secret room. We can't afford not to look into that chest. By the way, this run can never be the first run of the day. Well, it's because it's dailies, but... These runs have always got to be the run that's like, I've got 50 minutes before the NLSS starts. We could probably work out an Isaac run really quick. The average one is like 35 minutes. I might even have time to eat lunch. Nope. Well, that's why you should only record an Isaac episode if you're plus or minus two hours from a real-world obligation. 
Hey, where'd the videos go? That's not what I meant, but where'd the... Okay, thank you for that. Um, I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the game. The game has given us shit. And yet, we're still here. And we're still... We're still acting like it's a privilege to be alive on this Keeper Run, when it's, it's a chore at the present moment. Now, the elation that exists in our future, if we win, is a very real thing. Smart, good foresight, NL. Pop that fucking coin, just in case. By the way, no nuns have it on this run. That makes it very unique as compared to the last runs. We got enough bombs to skip. Why do you hate me? Okay, so this is, is going to have to be one of those rare Isaac episodes that's actually edited. I'm going to probably like beat this floor. And then we'll return to this run after a jump cut. Because I got to prepare for the NLSS. Now, it's not like the NLSS starts right now. But... I have to, uh, you know, get the docket and stuff prepared. You figured this run is not going to be... It's, it's only because this one seems like it's going to go a lot longer. Now I'm scared. We should do this room. It's my own fault. I got hit by an enemy that essentially does not move. Or it moves, but moves in a very predictable fashion. I, I, I hear you. Flies. I did leave a penny. Thank God. Okay. All right, all right, all right. By the way, the, the actual silver lining of this run is that we still have, after all of this, our strength card. It exists. Ah, that's a bit of a bummer. Especially because we didn't get a payout. Um, this might be the perfect time to use our strength card. If we get hit. If we don't get hit, don't waste it, obviously. But if you get hit, pop that strength card and never look back, dude. The odds of us being able to use that to get an advantage from a deal with the devil at this point are so much lower than the odds of it you know, dying, or you dying with it in your hand. Well, remarkably, not to count my chickens before they hatch here, it seems like we will probably make it through the womb one on this cursed keeper run. And we gotta deal with the angel. And it's the mind, which is a start. So I'm actually... Gonna head down to this floor. Maybe we'll do one more floor. Just to see how it goes, right? So we know where we're going now. We do want to save bombs to use on the cathedral. Because, I mean, assuming we make it that far. A surprisingly not ridiculous assumption. By the way, big ups. We got, <laughs> we got the mind. I did ask for mapping. And I do have black candle. At the same time... Would it kill you to give me a DPS upgrade? Like, I've been waiting the whole fucking game. We have 3.03 .03 damage on the womb too. Yeah, we got triple shot. How many of those shots are actually landing? Well, you got big chubby coming in there uh, once every 25 minutes and hitting an enemy. You got me, you got me. What am I complaining about? I got big chubby. I'm dead, okay. Well, I tried. I, I gave it the college try, dude. That's the end of the streak. I'm giving two middle fingers to this run. I'm not an angry person. That run sucked. Fuck you for giving me the keeper on that run. But thank you for giving me the opportunity to prove myself. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm a little disappointed. If you liked it, though, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Fudge!